a pinball reset mechanism. Uh, this is the digit counter for the pinball. Um, up to now I've been manually resetting this by pushing this bar to the left. And uh, this mechanism here automates it. It pushes the bar across. There's some tension springs there just to make sure it doesn't push it too far. Um, the reset mechanism also has to do some other things and I've represented those by these light bulbs. Um, the yellow light bulb is a pulse to the uh, drop flags to get the drop flags to raise. Once they raise, uh, that starts a times 10 timer, times 10 mode timer, and that runs for 50 seconds normally. Uh, so actually when the red bulb's on, um, the electromagnets pulled on the timer, which uh, changes the gear ratios to, so that it only runs for 3 seconds. So the red light does that. The green light at the end is to actually put the uh, first ball into play. So let's see it work. So I'm going to send a pulse to it. Right, there you go. Um, I'll now show a close-up of the reset mechanism. But you can see the timer has been reset and the lights went on in the required sequence. This is the reset mechanism. There's a slow turning motor, 8 to 1 ratio, to this commutator rod at the bottom. Um, the bush wheel on the left it has, it gives the uh, long duration pulse, um, and that's achieved by just an insulating fish plate in one place on it. And the other bush has two con short duration contacts on it uh, for the other pulses. Then there's a 3 to 1 ratio up to this bush wheel here which has three insulating spaces on it and they push the uh, um, digit counter mechanism to reset it. Resetting the uh, pin table, uh, there's four things to do. I can only show three at the moment because of the camera angle. Um, there's resetting the digit counter, making sure the bonus timer is totally over to the left, that's deactivated, and all the drop flags have to be raised. Let's switch on the power. And you can see the timer's starting to turn. And we press the reset button. Flags up. Timer over to the left. And the digit counter's been reset. This is the ball kick mechanism. The ball's just resting here and it's actually uh, completing a contact between these two wiper arms. But we need to reset the pinball first to, um, to get the ball to kick into play. It's five ball play, all the other resets are going on, and there's the first ball into play. Let's say the ball goes out of play. Second ball. Third ball in play. Fourth ball in play. fifth ball in play and finally it shuts down. Uh, the kicker moved back very slightly and it actually switches off a relay which um, stops the uh, flippers from working and also of course um, stops the actual mechanism itself from going on any further. The relay stops the, uh, the mechanism until you reset the pinball machine again.